What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Casper. Just came out of the movie theater and saw an unexpected watch, so I'm gonna give you the rundown on what I thought about it. I'm talking about the movie Bullet Train, so let's get straight to it. Movie Bullet Train just came out, 2022 film. It's rated R and it's two hours and six minutes. It's directed by David Latch. I'm barely getting onto his movies. I recently just saw John Wick and I thought that movie was very good with the action scenes. He also worked on Deadpool. I haven't finished Deadpool, but Deadpool also has like some crazy action scenes as well. And the humor in that movie is starred by Brad Pitt, Joey King, Aaron Taylor Johnson. Brian Tyree Henry, Andrew Kohi, Hiro Yuki Sanada, Michael Shannon, Sandra Bullock, Bad Bunny is in the movie, Logan Lerman, Zazie Beats. So the beginning of the movie, my eye was just the lighting and just how sharp the camera quality was just being attached to the quality of how the crispy the camera was in the beginning that caught my eye in the beginning i was trying to get a little feel what was going on and just how like this plot was gonna be brad pitt is an assassin in this movie so the fact that he's playing an assassin i'm just trying to figure out his character role when he gets introduced into the movie, he's basically walking to the train where this whole movie is basically part of. During that process of him walking through the train, it was shot really well. He's on the phone, so I'm trying to figure out what character he is. He's very like chill and relaxed. So his character was, for me in the beginning, hard to grab to see what he was trying to be. That's how it was in the beginning. Um, In the middle, when everybody's starting to get introduced a little bit with all the characters on who's in and out or who's in the train, that's where I was like, okay, is this the push a little bit more but the introduction for the other characters I thought it flowed really well and just aspects of i like how each character was already doing their own thing in the movie that's what i liked about it like how er every section of the train had was different and every character was doing their own thing in that section so that was dope the last part of the movie where everything starts taking off i would say that was literally insane the movie was low key the action scene was very very crispy so it was like a fun movie to watch it was like cartoonish type of action obviously a lot of the action in here movie was it's not real you know some characters are jumping off the train and this train is going lightning speed and the people on the on top of the train literally are still on the train the beginning middle and end i would say good flow to it and very good understanding on character development and knowing who's going to be involved with this movie there's some shockers i didn't mention in the beginning the Kenny tatum is in the movie he comes out of nowhere that the fact that he pops out of nowhere i thought that was pretty funny too he, he's basically barely in it brad pitt like i said in the beginning i was just trying to figure out what type of character he was because it was very chill brad pitt and the, throughout this whole movie i would say did a very good job brad pitt's performance was so on point sitting there comparing his other roles that he he's done and i was comparing the movie he did with troy how he played a character like he really had to play a character in this movie it kind of felt like he was just playing himself mannerisms and just chilling his head on his arm the way he was just performing those lines i thought it was very chill and it fit i give him props because what i've learned or what i was told was that he did 95 percent of his stunts in this movie so when he's out here fighting and doing all these crazy backflips and just crazy movements fast movements i'm just like trying to see if this is really him and the fact that i found out that he did 95 percent of his stunts you know i give him props to that so i say brad pitt did a good job it was very simple with his uh, responses to other characters that made it very funny it's a phenomenal job for brad pitt other actors that i thought did a great job it was a duo they're playing brothers in this movie and they play the characters tangerine and lemon they're played by aaron taylor johnson and brian tyree henry play like some british type of characters in the movie aaron taylor johnson he was kick-ass and i didn't even know that was him you know because of his accent in this movie and i would say that he did a very good job i think his performance in this movie was definitely one of the standouts in this movie focus on being an assassin and undercover one i would say the vibe was really real kind of gave me like some sherlock holmes vibes because i guess the mustache and stuff the costume design for him and his brother fit very well it kind of gave me a vibe like they were characters from another movie and they just got brought into this movie and it made it bigger but those characters stood out very well i really liked aaron taylor johnson's character tangerines tangerine was hilarious too the vibe 
of his character was real and I had a great time watching his performance. His brother, Brian Tyree Henry, he plays Lemon. He did a great job as well. They both complement each other very, very well. Who knows? Maybe them two could come up with a TV show or a movie with them two because the vibe was dope. They're pretty hilarious. They didn't have to say too much. I'm not sure if he's British. I think he's an American actor. The fact that he, you know, is versatile and could actually sound like he's British, I would say mad props to that. The twists and turns in the movie. The twists and turns, for example, I think one of the brothers are dead and you're like, damn, he died. And then it shows a flashback. I like the flashback they showed when they were little kids. Came back uh, to them being adults. And when we thought one of the brothers was dead, it ended up being a mind flip. The other brother is the one that ended up dying. The other one didn't die. And the fact that it did the mind twist, the mind twisting in the movie, I liked how they did that. I thought it was very smart. It worked. The camera work in the movie was like an inspiration and just aspects of just trying something different. You are the director. If you like that angle, we're going with it. So that's how I felt like this director did it. One scene that I also liked that I thought it was intriguing was the water bottle scene where you f you find out what the water bottle did all day and how they shot that. I was I was like, yo, that was pretty dope. I like how that fit throughout the movie. It was key. I thought that little small little insert of an edit with the water bottle was dope. It made the movie stand out for me. So I liked that. I would say a random cameo in the movie. Build on the poster and on the movie like he's one of the main actors. Bad Bunny. What I thought about Bad Bunny's performance, I would say the introduction when he saw Brad Pitt face to face. Like, oh, this fool looks hilarious low key because he, he looked mad. It cut out and then it introduced his character. Particularly, I like the camera work on how they introduce his character. I feel like Bad Bunny's vibe and his style fit what they were going for he didn't say too many lines the more no lines were on him and the camera work was just showing like montages of what he does for a living and his revenge montages and stuff i thought that it worked very well and it made him look very clean i don't want to use the word corny but it wasn't very good when he had lines i guess in an aspect or i guess you could say that when he yelled and was sad and like ah oh, like that that was kind of corny but it was just not the best i would just be like oh it's bad cost and how they made him look was fresh. Bad Bunny's performance, I would say, it fit and it wasn't off. Every character in this movie, when the movie introduced each character, every character in the movie was different. No one repeated another character's vibe. I'm saying with Bad Bunny as well, he had a good part. This movie fit him better with no lines. He wrote Yoki Sanada. I know him from Rush Hour. It took me a minute to realize who he was. I needed that friendly reminder. His performance was very good. It was like one of those OG style sensei type of movies where you know he's the boss. He got a very good sensei vibe and knowing that he was very intelligent and knowledgeable of everything. I like the lines in there. Great job. Andrew Kohi. He plays the character Kimura. He's just another assassin on a mission and he ends up dealing with stuff on the train. I'd say his character did a very good job. He was on a mission and I think the performance was well done. Joey King plays the character Prince and she's like a low-key female in the movie where she plays very innocent. She did a good job of just being annoying and that one female you just hope she gets that crazy death. Played mind tricks in the movie as well. Her acting was very good. Played a very good role. This movie right here I think is very worth it to go watch it in the movie theater because I feel like special effects, the sound effects, and everything that they were going for in this movie, everything hit. What hit if you just see it is in the movie theater. Movie theater watch made everything stand out way more better. The action scenes were great. It's a goofy movie but attached to the movie very quick because I would say, you know, the camera work is very good. The shots are amazing. I love the light and the camera direction and his choices on where he puts the, the camera. Very creative dude on just knowing like how to make something look very crispy. The movie is over two hours. I would say the movie kind of felt a little under two hours, but it was around that time you kind of felt like it. But um, the movie enjoyed it. I had a fun time watching it. And Sandra Bullock's in the movie as well. For what she has, I would say did a good job as well because even though that she's the person on the phone with Brad Pitt, helping Brad Pitt throughout the movies. After my watch watching Bullet Train, I would have to give it a 9 out of 10. So that's my movie review for the movie Bullet Train. Shout out to you guys for tuning in. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace, y'all.